In this video, we will see about different type of subqueries that we use in SQL. So basically a subquery or an nested query is a query which is placed within another SQL query. Or we can simply say a query which is inside another query. I will be splitting this video into three parts. So in the first part, we will go through two type of subquery which are scalar subqueries and subquery in select clause. In scalar subquery, we will see how to return a single value or exactly one row and exactly one column using a subquery. Then in the second part, we will go through multiple row subqueries in which we will go, we will go through two different types of multiple row subqueries which are subquery which return one column with multiple rows and subqueries which return multiple, multiple column with multiple rows. And then in the third part, we will go through correlated subqueries. So correlated subqueries are inner queries which relies on information obtained from the outer query. So we will see what is a correlated subquery and we will see how to write a correlated subquery. Finally, we will go through subquery in joins. So how to use subquery in the table joins to create new tables. So our final goal is to understand and write correlated subquery, subqueries with joins, subquery with the in and not in operator subquery with comparison operators, subquery with exist or non-exist operators, subquery which contain any or all operator, subquery in the from clause and finally subquery in the select clause and we will go through more stuff within the video. So let us go to the scalar subquery. So scalar subquery is a subquery which return a single value or exactly one row and exactly one column which means scalar subquery which will return only single value. So let us go back to the SSMS and see a question and let us try to solve that using the concept of scalar subquery. So scal what is a scalar subquery? That is a subquery which return a single value that is exactly one row and exactly one column. So in order to implement scalar subquery, we will be using the comparison operator. To understand scalar subquery, I have created one question. The question is find the list of employees who receive salary which is greater than the average company salary and the second part is salary less than the average company salary and for that we will be using the table called as employee underscore salary let us query the table and see what is the schema so we have the employee underscore salary table which has four columns which is id name salary and department so we have to find the average salary offered by the company then we have to see if the average each employee has a salary which is greater than or less than the average salary of the company. Let us go and find the average salary of the company. Select. We will be using the average function which is AVG. And the column is salary. And that is from the table EMP underscore salary. Now let us run the query and see what is the result we are getting. Now we got a single result. The result which has only exactly one row and exactly one column. So this val value will compare each salary with the single value and find if the salary is greater than or less than the average salary. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to write a select clause which contains all the columns from the employee salary table and from the employee salary table we are going to use a where clause and inside the where clause on the salary column we are going to compare this salary column with the result that we have obtained using the self query to obtain the single value so this is the first part so we will see salary greater than average company salary so we will put a greater than operator then we will use the single value along with the operator and let us run the query and see what is the result that we are getting. Let us run both the table as well as the query and see the difference. So now we can see that we only have four rows but in the actual table we have seven rows. So the result contains only the salary which is greater than the average salary for employee. So the average salary for employee that we saw was 77,000. So we can see that only four rows or for employees who have salary greater than 77,000 is displayed in the result. Now let us move on to the second part of the question which is salary less than the average company salary. The only difference that we have to make here is let us copy the query 
will simply change the comparison operator to less than the salary that is salary which is less than the average salary now if we run the query we should get the result or the salary which are less than 77,000 see now we can see that three employees are having a salary less than 77,000 this is the example of using a scalar subquery that is we are only using the subquery to return a single value and we are using that value to compare it with the salary and fetching particular result with that then let us move on to the second subquery that we will see in the video that is subquery within the select clause for that also we will be using the same table employee underscore salary and the question we are trying to solve here is find the difference between the salary of each employee and the average salary so we are going to find the difference between the salary of each employee and the average salary from the previous question we know that the average salary from the table is 77,000 so what we have to do is we have to subtract 77,000 from each salary row and find the difference between the salary and the average salary and also given a clause that is without using any join clause and we are going to take only the required columns which are we just want name and salary of the employee we don't want uh, employee id or department id we are going to take only the employee name and salary and now we are asked to find a average salary column now let us try writing an average salary column here but we'll be getting the result or we'll get some issue here because this is not going to be cut see now if i run the query i won't get the result it will be wrong so from this we can understand that we can't simply put the average close on the salary column and calculate the average salary in the table so what we are going to do here is we are going to write a sub query within the select clause so instead of this average salary as average salary column we are going to remove this and we are going to put a parenthesis and inside the parenthesis we are going to use the select clause and average salary and this is from the table underscore salary now let us run the query and let us see what is the result we are getting let us also give a alias name for this now if we run the query we should get the result that is we will get a new column that is average underscore salary with the average salary now we have to find the difference between the salary of each employee and the average salary so what we have to do is we have to take this column salary column and have to subtract the new average salary that we found we can simply copy this value here as i'm giving an alias name as div if i run the query we will get the difference between the salary column and the average salary why it is given here we have to write the query without using a join clause is because using a join clause this query will create complexity that is not necessary so let me show you how to write the same query using a join clause so initially we are going to fetch the columns that are required name and salary and this is from the table employee underscore salary emp underscore salary now we have this name and salary column now we are going to create another sub query that is abg underscore salary that is average salary from emp underscore salary now if you run this query we'll get the average salary now we have to join both the tables using a cross join condition we are going to join these two tables using the cross join condition here we will use the cross join condition and let us give an alias name for both the sub queries then outside this we are going to select all the columns from the two queries now if we run the query we will get the result I'm getting this error because no column column name was specified for column one of B because I have to name a I have to specify a name for this column. Now we have a similar result 
what we have seen in the previous query. Now again what we, what we have to do is we have to go to this outer query and we have to write the same equation here that is salary minus. We don't have to write this equation here because we can simply subtract salary minus average salary. So salary minus abg underscore salary as dip. So now if I run I should get the result that we saw in the previous query but if you compare both the queries see this is symbol so symbol which is like only one or two lines this is like I have to create two separate queries then I have to cross join the two tables then I have to again outside the query I have to come and subtract the average salary from the salary and find the difference. This example might look easy because we only have few columns here but when the table becomes larger it will be easy for us to use directly the sub query in select clause and implement similar rows without using any joins, cross joins or any complex concepts. Thank you for watching and we will see in the next part. Thank you.